Hello, I am Mac, at least for a day, and everything's going to be okay. This is part two of my series on how to make a text adventure, at least how I make a te text adventure in dreams. I'm going to start by showing you the intro that we started last time that I finished. Oh, sorry, a garden for my wife. You married your high school sweetheart and moved into the house she inherited from her grandfather. Soon after she became soon after she became pregnant with your first child, you were called off to the war. While you were on the front lines, you received a letter stating that your wife had a miscarriage. <laughs> After you returned, you and your wife were unable to have any children. You got a job as a pharmacist, commuting to work in the nearby town and returning each evening to your house in the secluded valley where you and your wife lived. Every year, your wife grew a garden of flowers which brightened your lonely household considerably. But the years got away from you and soon after you had retired from the pharmacy, your wife grew gravely ill. When I'm gone, she said weakly, please promise you'll grow a garden for me. But I don't know the first thing about gardening, you said. There is a book in the attic that will teach you everything you need to know, she said. Now please promise you will. All right, I promise. Your wife passed away soon after that, and you buried her in the small gravesite in the valley. So yeah, pretty simple little intro there that I showed you most of how to make in the last video. Now we're going to start chapter one. This one is going to be a lot different. than the last one because now there's actually going to be player input and choices and such. I gotta gotta resist moving around the the elements in the level. What the? Oh no. Did I edit the wrong scene? No, no, no. Here it is. <laughs> yeah, I added an outhouse. So we've got a tool shed and an outhouse. Okay. Um, Alright, so... What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how you move the character around the room. Obviously, there is no character, there is no player character in these text adventures. Maybe it's not obvious, but if you played my last text adventure, you might have noticed there is no player character. It's an implied character. You're basically just cameras. Um, and this makes things a lot easier. That's why I created text adventures in Dreams, because you don't have to worry about wrangling and controlling how the character can move in the game. You can just completely control all of their movement. Um, by doing this. Hmm. I think I'll put this bookshelf over here. Hmm, kind of need a, like, a reading corner. Dang it. I'm going to end up building the level more, aren't I? Oh, well, it's part of the production process. I need an armchair. <laughs> I said I wasn't going to do level building in this series, but... Oh, boy. <laughs> I'm pretty close to the limits for this level, so I've got to pick something very low... 
thermo. Hmm. Okay, yo, wow. I thought this would be high thermo. It's really low. That's great. It's such a good looking armchair. I thought it would be really high graphics. And we'll pull, put another lamp over here by it. So this will be a little reading corner in the bedroom. I gotta be real careful about my thermometer though. I'm getting pretty close. Actually, I was able to lower the gameplay quite a bit. I had to delete some trees, but anyway, that's not what this is about. <laughs> uh, I tend to get carried away. All right, so what I'm doing, as I was saying, I you can I will control the movement of the character. Um, by cameras. So the character basically is all the cameras that you switch to. So I want, let's see, one, two, three. Really, there should be two armchairs because, you know, they used to be married and all that. Oh, well, she passed away, of course, as you just saw in the intro. <laughs> um, but anyway. Okay, so this is their little reading corner in their bedroom. Alright. And... Okay, so I need... A couple more cameras. And the camera we're going to be using has a one second transition and smooth transition time. Unlike the straight cut that we used in the previous one. There really should be a lot more books on the shelf. Probably wouldn't hurt to clone a bunch of the books. Let's ungroup these books. Yeah, pulled them all out of group. And then... Oops, wrong. There we go. Alright, let's just make a, a shelf full of books. Make sure I'm not adding too much gameplay by doing that. I need a lot of my gameplay because as I add more logic, it adds more gameplay, of course. And if I run out of space, then I can't do anything else. All right, I'll do that later. <laughs> I'll fix the books later. We gotta get to the logic and stuff. So anyway, as I was saying, um, I'm putting all the cameras that are gonna be in this room. So what I'm gonna do is each room, there's only, well, there's essentially three rooms in the house. But each room I'm gonna have a different microchip for what you can do in that room. Oh man. Okay, so there's the attic entrance. Yeah, so that... Uh, that blocks that. Okay. So, okay, let me show you how I do this. So first of all, we're going to change this one. Uh, yeah. I'm just make a next button. All right, and we're going to write the first lines of text for this scene. You been moping. That's not how you spell moping. I think that's how you spell moping. If it's not, it's, if it's wrong, I'll fix it later. You've been moping in bed for several days since your wife passed away. 
only getting up to eat and use the bathroom. Well, and go to the outhouse. You need to get out of this funk and um, start that garden you promised her. I better to make in her memory. There we go. That's a big wall of text. There we go. Where'd the next button go? Oh my gosh, it's gotten tiny. Let's make that bigger. And it, yeah, I turned off the trans the animation for that, so it's just going to be text. And I like to make it left aligned, just because it looks more like a book. For titles and like big storyline part, I use center, but lately I've been favoring left alignment for levels I don't know it's just my style choice anyway so well, we need all the cameras I think I'll name the cameras well that can stay camera one but we need uh, we'll do bookshelf bookshelf camera and fireplace attic and then one for transitioning out of the room. So, fireplace, attic, And um, <coughs> leave room. All right. So to the beginning of the scene, this will say this. You'll you'll push next. And then we'll go to the central. The central text box, which will give you different choices on what you want to do. So after you press next, you'll go here and it's, it's just going to say what will you do. Um, yeah, what will you do? Needs to not have alignment. So I can place it where I want. It's very annoying that when you move the big text, it moves all the dialogue choices, but oh well. Wish I could just place everything where I want it. Okay, instead of next, we're going to have um, for X we'll put look at bookshelf so look at bookshelf look at fireplace look at 
attic entrance. Uh oh. Oh my. I don't like that, that they start out a certain size. Gotta make sure I get them all the same size now. And cool thing that you can do and that I do is position these, you know, close to what you're choosing to go to in the picture. And an easy way for me to do that is to go ahead and start time and then pause when I'm in the camera. I'll show you in a second. Let's just go ahead and do that. I should have made this smaller. Dang it, now I have to make these bigger. One way I could get them the same size is to match up the buttons. Oh, and I also need... I want this for... Go to dining room. Ah, I gotta fix that one. These are not the right size. Okay. We'll position all that in a second. Okay, let's save. You've been moping in bed for... Oh, I forgot the music. Let's go ahead and put the music in. I like to have the music at the beginning. I picked out a bunch of music for this... For this game already. It's not all the music I'm going to need, but... Use this music. Yep. Okay. You've been moping in bed for several days since your wife passed away. Only getting up to eat... Man, that music's loud. I'm gonna turn it down. It needs to be pretty quiet. Whoa. Turn it down 50%. There. You've been moping in bed for several days since your wife passed away. Only getting up to eat and go to the outhouse. You need to get out of this funk and start that garden you promised to make in her memory. Oh darn, I totally forgot to make it change cameras. Duh. I don't think I plugged all the cameras in either. Okay, so this is... What? I renamed that bookshelf. I know I did. What the heck? Am I just going crazy? Bookshelf, fireplace, attic, leave room. Huh. That is weird. Could have sworn I named that. I'll figure out what I did. Oh no. I don't... I don't have a main camera. That was stupid. We need a main camera. Okay. Alright, so hook this into the main camera right here. Then the bookshelf camera. Which... <laughs> 
really need to go ahead and fix this bookshelf. We'll say that these are, yeah, whatever. I'll fix the books later so they look good. Fireplace. Yep. Uh, attic. And oh, I didn't make a leave room camera. So this will be the first camera. as you start to leave the room. If I if I just put a camera in the next room, it might the character, the quote unquote character, might go through the wall in order to get there. So I've got to transition through the doorway. But anyway, um, so after you say next, it will deactivate that camera and activate the main camera. And then we'll be where we want to be, okay. Ah, sorry, one second. Okay. Yeah, 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 we read that. Okay, this is what I wanted. So now I'm positioned where the camera is going to be. So look at bookshelf. Move this, oh, dang it. I can just go into the camera like this. Okay, look at bookshelf. Look at attic entrance. We'll put up here, I guess. Look at fireplace. And go to dining room. We'll be over here. There we go. You know what? Instead of making it look at bookshelf, I'm going to make it look at reading area since I made that. And I'm going to move the camera. Yeah, so that'll be some more world buildings. Like, this is where me and my wife used to read. Or, this is where you're. I write everything in second person. Like old text adventures used to be, where they would say, you do this, you do that. Okay. Um, oh. I forgot to plug in the leave room camera. Alright, so we've got our choices where we want to go. Yeah, so let me look at that again. So move this a little bit. Move that a little bit. Oh yeah, something I want to do before I forget. I want to freeze most of the house so I don't move it on accident. Okay. Um, let's look at that again. Cool. All right, now 
we need to make descriptions for each area that we can choose from. We won't be able to really do anything at them because right now the mission is going to be to eat breakfast before going to find that book. Um, let's clone this one so I won't have to get rid of as much stuff. Although I will have to delete a bunch of text. But anyway. Um, so reading area. This will be the reading area one. And we just want a back button to back out of it after we read the description of it. I wish there was a faster way to delete text in this game. All you can do is press backspace. You can't select and delete all. Okay, um, this is where you and your wife used to read together, but you don't feel like reading except Maybe that gardening book she said was in the attic. So then your only choice is going to press back. Oh, yeah. Um, Let's see, so when you press back, it'll go back to this choice and it will deactivate. Oh, oh man, I never even did that. Oh yeah, so, okay, so when you choose look at reading area, it needs to deactivate the main camera and activate the bookshelf camera. I'll just leave that name there. Um, then when you choose back, then it goes back to that text, deactivates bookshelf camera, and activates the main camera. All right. Next is um, fireplace. So we need a description for the fireplace. You use this fireplace to help keep the house warm in the fall and winter but it is, oh yeah, those are supposed to be capitalized, I believe. But it is spring, so you don't need to light it. All right, then I need to make sure the cameras change. So look at fireplace deactivates the main camera and activates fireplace camera. The developers and other people will tell you to tidy up the wires, but I just leave my wires all messy like this. As long as I know where they're all supposed to go, I can figure out my mistakes usually. Um, Okay, then when you press back, it will deactivate fireplace camera and activate the main camera again. All right, next we do the attic.
This is the entrance to the attic where you need to find the book on gardening your wife mentioned but you will need something um, something to help something long to reach the um, to reach the latch holding the ladder in place. Now for this one, instead of just having a back button, because we're going to be coming back to this later in the scene, we need to have a use item option. We'll go ahead and, yeah, we'll go ahead and make all that logic. <clears throat> so X will give you the use item option. We need to, uh oh, we need to find that. Apparently it's not showing. Well, what I can do is I can make this smaller. What? Oh, did I not turn it on? Whoops, there's the problem. Sometimes they get, sometimes they're off of the screen. I was trying to find it off the screen, but <clears throat> it was just not turned on. I think these options will fit nicely under the, at the end of the paragraph. Like that. Okay. Right, and we need to go ahead and make a text box for use item. So if you choose that, you will get this. And I like to make it into kind of a list format. I'll show you in a second what I mean. Which item will you use? Need to make sure it's free to place it where I want. And we need to We need to make, go ahead and make the button for, I think it's the, should I use the hoe? Or is it called a spade? I'll just call it a hoe. Hopefully they won't, uh, <laughs> hopefully they, yeah, it doesn't look like they, I've run into some trouble with the uh, sensor, the text censoring in my last game because apparently there were parts of rude words and things I typed so I couldn't use certain terms because like draping um, yeah I, I tried to type the word draping and if you take the D off it makes a bad word so it edited out that part so but thankfully ho is not being edited out probably because it's more of an American slang and not British <laughs> because this game was made by people in Britain. But anyway, <laughs> enough about that. Um, yeah, so, but we need to turn that off because, whoa, back button is tiny. Okay, I need it to be the same size. We need to turn it off because I haven't, I won't have made the logic yet that will turn it off before you have it. I 
So for now, I'll just turn it off manually. Normally, I would wire a counter into this. So it would turn it on once you obtain the hoe, but I haven't done that yet, but whatever. Okay, so we got that in. So if you press back, it'll just go back to the fireplace thing, and then you can press back to go back. So pressing back will, oh no, did I forget that? Here, I did. So pressing back goes back to this dialog box and also switches out the cameras. So, oh no, we never, we never did the attic camera either. So deactivate main and activate attic camera and go to dining room uh yeah and then we need to uh how am i going to do the transition to the dining room one we might as well go ahead and do that real quick So this will be here. We're gonna have to set up a timer. To transition between rooms. Microchip out. All right. Um, whoa. What the? Wow, that's a long wall of text there. Uh, anyway, let's move this. Oh, we don't need a text box for there. If you choose go to attic, go to dining room. Um, what it's going to do is it will go ahead and deactivate main and activate the transitional camera. And we need to put a controller for this camera here. It will be the main dining room camera. I need to name my microchips. So this is bedroom, and this is dining room. It's kind of a living room slash kitchen slash dining room, obviously. Uh, okay, so we need a main counter for this room. I'm not going to do this whole room in this video. I'm just going to complete this transition to the dining room. So this camera controls this. So now I'm going to implement a timer. And this timer, when you, we'll put it over here, when you push it, it will start. when you choose to go to dining room and it will go for two seconds since the cameras have two two minute transition times um, one one second transition time although I wish there was a smoother way to do this actually If I make it one second, it will be smooth, right? It'll go quickly between the two cameras. So yeah, we'll make that a one second timer. When that second completes, it will deactivate the leave room camera. 
and activate the dining room camera. And we'll also activate a, we'll copy this one, the what will you do dialog box. And of course we'll change it later for all the choices in that room. And yeah, this timer we'll go ahead and activate that as well. All right, let's see if this works. We'll test everything. All right. You've been moping in bed for several days since your wife passed away, only getting up to eat and go to the outhouse. You need to get out of this funk and start that garden you promised to make in her memory. All right, so we can look at reading area. This is where you and your wife used to read together. Uh, I need to not have it take up so much space. I don't want it to cover everything up. So, ah, what am I, oh yeah, this, this one. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna make it longer. And smaller so that we can actually see what it's describing instead of covering all of it up. Okay. And we're gonna have to do that for all of them. But oh well. This is where you and your wife used to read together, but you don't feel like reading except maybe that gardening book she said was in the attic. All right, fireplace. Oh no, there's still sound effects for the fireplace? Those are supposed to be off right now. Uh, view x-ray. There it is. Turn off that. It's amazing how many things I have to fix when I play test. Oops, okay. All right, edit this as well. Guess that's good. Could be a bit smaller, so you can see the fireplace. All right. You use this fireplace to help keep the house warm in the fall and winter, but it is spring, so you don't need to light it. All right, now look at attic entrance. Um, again, we're gonna make this not so filling up everything. latch doesn't look good because the ladder's falling through it. Hmm. Can we keep the ladder from falling through it? <laughs> uh, phooey. No. 
if we make it a little bigger. There we go. Good enough for now. All right, so look at reading area. Look at fireplace. Look at attic entrance. This is the attic where you need to find the book on gardening your wife mentioned, but you will need something long to reach the latch holding the ladder in place. Use item, we don't have the hoe to reach it, so we'll close that. Uh oh, we forgot to make the camera transition there. This is why we playtest. Um, yeah, back. Button needs to deactivate attic. We did that, but we didn't make it activate main again, apparently. All right. Try that again. Back button is not in the right spot. Cool, now go to dining room. Cool, that's pretty good. Of course I would, you know, make new choices for this room to go to each spot. But this, this has just been a quick thing to show you how I do dialogue choices to move, to make movement for my text adventures. So that's gonna do it for this video. Um, yeah, just a real simple showing you how to do it. In the next one, I'll probably show you how to make items, um, make it so that you can collect items, and then having those items will unlock other dialogue choices so that you can do other things. But that's going to do it for this video. I have been Mac. Thank you for joining me for a day. And remember, everything's going to be okay.